Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind. Well, it's actually happening, folks. Jack Smith's little witch hunt case just took the biggest of L's you could possibly imagine. Now, we've been covering this ongoing saga between Jack Smith, Trump's legal counsel, and of course the Supreme Court. Little Jackie boy here has been throwing a little bit of a tantrum, attempting to lobby the Supreme Court to expedite Donald Trump's legal appeal. And at first, the Supreme Court was playing ball, applying a deadline of December 20th for the Trump team to get all the relevant information together, ready for arguments, ready to wrap the whole thing up. Then, of course, fast forward a couple days later, the Supreme Court then decides to backtrack, telling Jack Smith they're going to be prioritizing another case ahead of the Trump case. Then fast forward 72 hours later, and Jack Smith's request has been fully rejected. The Donald Trump case ahead of the Supreme Court will not be expedited, will not be rushed to meet Jack Smith's little pre-election deadline. He just took the biggest L in all of these indictments thus far. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so here's the beautiful headline this morning, and trust me when I tell you it is beautiful. Supreme Court rejects Jack Smith's request for justices to hear Trump immunity dispute. The U.S. Supreme Court on Friday denied special counsel Jack Smith's motion to expedite the review of the question of whether or not former President Donald Trump is immune from prosecution in the federal case involving interference with the 2020 presidential election election. His federal 2020 election trial may go beyond its currently planned start date of March 4th as a result of the high court's decision. Earlier this month, Smith requested the Supreme Court swiftly decide whether the Republican presidential frontrunner, Donald Trump, is totally immune from prosecution from crimes committed during his presidency. Of course, this assertion has been pivotal to the defense strategy of Trump's legal team following U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin's rejection of arguments claiming immunity from the indictment. It sought a stay on proceedings. The appeal is currently pending Ending, so the case's proceedings have come to a halt. On Wednesday, attorneys for former Attorney General Ed Meese and two top constitutional scholars in the country filed a brief arguing that the U.S. Supreme Court must reject Smith's petition against Trump because his appointment as special counsel is unconstitutional. Their amicus brief contends that Smith's representation of the United States in his petition for certio rari to the Supreme Court is invalid due to his lack of authority. This is because Congress has not established the position that he holds and his appointment is in violation of the Constitution's Appointment Clause. The filing alleges that U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland made an improper appointment of Smith to a non-existent office for which Garland lacks the necessary authority, Breitbart noted. Meese, Steve Calabresi, the co-chairman of the Federalist Society, and Gary Lawson, a renowned constitutional law professor, contend that Congress alone has the authority to create federal positions like the one Smith is currently holding, and Congress has not used this power. Although the Constitution establishes the positions of President presidents and vice presidents, Congress possesses exclusive authority to establish additional positions, as the Constitution stipulates that such positions must be established by law. Congress had previously enacted legislation to grant authorization for a comparable role known as independent counsel. However, this statute lapsed in 1999. The lawyers claim that Garland is unable to assign a subordinate to perform tasks that Congress had not approved. Only an individual with the title of officer possesses the requisite level of authority. And so, yeah, it's a whole bunch of legalese. You know, a well-written article, but it's a little too academic for me. Essentially, the TLDR is Jack Smith is getting royally you know what across the freaking board. I'm absolutely elated this morning because this is exactly what I was hoping for. I'm not a constitutional scholar. I'm not a lawyer. So I never had the ability to sit here and confirm to you guys, the audience, that there's going to be a foolproof legal method for Trump's legal team to keep delaying this trial. I was hoping that that would be the case, but I wasn't sure if they'd have the ability to do so, but it seems like that's exactly what they're doing. It's going to be one appeal after another, one challenge after another. Donald Trump is presidential immunity. That's the first challenge. Then the moment it looked that that appeal was processing through the system, bring in another legal challenge, claiming Jack Smith's office doesn't even exist and he's unconstitutionally appointed. And all of a sudden you start creating a whole lot of legal mess. I guess when you have the resources to file endless legal challenges and have some of the top Republican lawyers from across the country working on your behalf, well, you have the ability to stall the process. You have the ability to continuously file legal challenges. And by the way, speaking of top Republican lawyers, former Attorney General Ed Meese, the guy who just filed a brief challenging Jack Smith at the Supreme Court, well, Meese served as Attorney General during Ronald Reagan's presidency. Not exactly an insignificant legal figure. Well, now he's jumping in to challenge Jack Smith. We're seeing top brass Republican talent step up, currently stopping Jack Smith in his little election interference scheme here, right in its tracks. 
And by the way, here's the official document. Order list 601 US, Friday, December 22nd, 2023, United States versus Donald J. Trump. Sergio Rari denied the petition for writ of Sergio Rari before judgment is denied. Literally that clean, that simple, Jack Smith told to go pound sand. The Supreme Court is not playing ball. This was my initial prediction. Initially, after receiving the news that Jack Smith's case was being paused, essentially, I said specifically at the time, I can't see a world where the Supreme Court is going to prioritize this bogus Trump case ahead of everything else that's probably on the priority list for them. And that seems to be the case. There is simply no justification for Jack Smith's argument here in general. You know, he argues it's imperative that this trial wrap up ahead of the election, that that's in the interest of the voter. But just think about the scenario of Jack Smith was to get what he wants. March 4th is peak election. It's right ahead of Super Tuesday. Donald Trump as Republican nominee for president in the year of 2024 on that day probably needs to be on the campaign trail. How can he possibly be on the campaign trail giving speeches and connecting with voters if he's sitting every single day in a courtroom during Jack Smith's bogus trial? And Democrats seriously argue that this isn't election interference. But there's obviously no other way to describe it. They're attempting to pull Donald Trump off the campaign trail during some of the most important days and put him in a courtroom so they can brand him a criminal. Oh, don't look at me. I'm just trying to save democracy. What a monumental clown Jack Smith is. Every little update in this case is more and more delays. Jack Smith is trying incredibly hard to start this trial on March 4th so he can wrap up his little kabuki theater political theatrical play ahead of the election. But at this point, I don't think March 4th is looking too realistic. It's probably going to get pushed and pushed and pushed. And he's got a pretty short window there. I'd argue pretty much anything after August is probably going to be too little too late. Well, the more challenges, the more appeals, and the more the Supreme Court just refuses to play ball, the more difficult that's going to be. It seems as though that is Jack Smith's number one challenge right now. And honestly, what I'm just hoping for, like I keep saying in these videos, is that Trump just ends up winning his appeal anyways, and he ends up being declared as immune, protected by the office of the presidency. Could you imagine that outcome? Months and months and months of, we're gonna get him this time, Jack Smith's gonna get Donald Trump, leading into months and months and months of delays and no trial ahead of election, only for the Supreme Court to declare Donald Trump immune and to hand a big, fat, embarrassing L for Jack Smith right in the middle of an election season. I wanna see it, folks, I wanna see it. We're calling that best case scenario, because if that happens, I mean, this thing is done, it is over. Trump will get the biggest spike we've ever seen. They keep trying to stop him, but they keep making him more powerful. So that's the update today, guys. Jack Smith takes the fattest L of his career. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.